All right, good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this series of online lessons. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and leave a like for this lesson. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to look at set theory. Okay, and under set theory, I'm not going to define what a set is because we've done that already. I'm just going to look at terms that you should know under set theory. And those terms, term number one is um, intersection. Okay, so intersection basically means looking for similar terms. Okay, similar terms, similar terms, similar terms in given sets. Okay, so similar terms in given sets, that is what, what intersection is. Okay, so usually denoted by the symbol N like that. So for instance, so write that, so example, if we have the universal set which has numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the universal set is detecting all the possible numbers in a particular domain. Okay, So if you have a universal set that has these numbers, and from the universal set, we have a set A that has terms let's say two four five let's say seven nine so that is uh element in a and we also have from the universal set there is a set b that has elements let's say two four seven nine Okay, we have these two sets, and you are asked to find a intersection, a intersection B. Okay, so intersection here is in telling us to find common terms. It's telling us to denote common terms in both of these sets. So intersection, intersection, which set, which terms are similar in the two sets. So we have a two here. And we have a 2 there, so 2 is similar in both, it's common in two sets, so we're looking for common terms. We have a 4 there and a 4 there, so 4 is common in the two sets. What else do we have common? 5 is 5 here, no, 7, 7 there, it's 7 there, so 7 will be common there. Then also 9 is here and 9 is there, so 9 is another common term and that is your a intersection b so intersection there is just telling us to look for common terms and write them in a set so and uh, what i want you to note is that for sets we use these curly brackets okay you see these curly brackets for sets that is what we use so that is intersection finding similar terms in the two sets we are talking about so in this case a intersection b means that what are the common terms in a and b okay we move on from there intersection we go to union okay union union means combining all the terms in the given set okay combining the terms Let's do this combining the terms in given sets without repeating commands. Okay, 
So combining common terms without repeating common ones. I'll get the same example that we have. All right, so here we have if the universal set, so the universal set is denoted by capital E. So if the universal set uh, has one, two, three, four, up to 10, a set A has uh, two, four, five, seven, nine. A set B has that. Find A union B. So remember what should come in your mind is that union means combining the terms in the given set. So we are combining the terms in A and in B and we are not repeating similar terms. Okay. So here there is a two and here there is a two. So we just write one of those twos. So we write two comma. Here there is a four and here there is a four. We're not going to write two fours. We're just going to write one of the fours comma. Here there is a five. Okay, there is no five here, but we need to write it here. Uh, seven, here there is a seven, here there is a seven. So we write one of the sevens. Nine, here there is a nine, here there is a nine, we write one of the nines. And finally, here there is no ten, here there is a ten, we write that ten. So we've combined elements of A and B without repeating similar ones. So these that are repeating two twos cannot we only write one of the twos. So that is what um, union means. Okay, let me also talk about one last one, then we'll go to the main, main topic that we're going to cover here. So the last one is complement. Okay, complement means outside a given set. or elements not found in that set. So complement simply entails us to look for elements uh, outside a given set or elements that are not found in that particular set but are found in the universal set. So we'll look at a similar example. All right, so let's look at a, this example. So if E is that, the universal set, A is that, and B is that, you're asked to find a complement. So wherever you see that slash there, it means complement, okay? So A complement, this is A. Now you need to cancel the terms that are not found in A, but found in the universal set. So we look at the universal set. So A is this, okay? A has elements, so we say A has elements 2, 4, 5, comma seven comma nine this is the elements that a has now looking at the universal set which elements are outside a which is a complement so looking at the universal set in the universal set we have one but here we don't have one so we'll put one there comma in the universal set we have two and in a we have two so no in the universal set we have uh, three here we don't have three so we write three in the universal set we have four so we cancel that no in the universal set we have five and here we have five so no in the universal set we have six but we have six in a so we write six uh, in the universal set we have uh, we have seven we have seven here we have seven so no in the inverse set, we have eight. Do we have eight in A? So we write eight. In the inverse set, we have nine. And here we have nine, so we cancel that. 
in the universal set we have 10 we have 10 in a dot so 10 like that and you're done okay so a complement is looking for element outside of a same applies you can try for b complement okay what do you think will be a b complement okay so i hope you've tried it out before it's me working it with you so b complement again we look for elements outside b okay from the universal set so b has a two okay so we start comparing with the universal set so the universal set has a one does b have a one no so we write the one because it's not in b so universal set has two does b have two yes so we cancel that the universal set has three does b have three no so we write three here the universal set has four does b have four yes so no, no need to write it the universal set has five does b have five no so we write five the universal set has six does b have six no so we write six um the universal set has seven does b have seven yes the universal set has eight does b have eight no okay the universal set has nine does b have nine yes the universal set has 10 does b have 10 yes so writing the terms that are not found in b so that is b complement terms that are not found in b but found in the universal set that is one two five six eight so that is just uh, the idea be behind complement intersection and um, union okay so now let me give you some questions then we move on from there all right so just uh, three questions for you so given that the universal set has elements a b c d e f g h i j k the set a has elements b c e f g h and the set b has elements e f uh, h i find a union b question number one question number two b complement question number three a intersection b and number four a complement number five um i'll put this one number five suppose you're asked to find a union b complement okay so what does this mean so first of all they want you to find a union b then after you find a union b the set that you find which elements are not in that set but are in the universal set okay so that is what i can give you on this one so but you find it so for, for instance you find a union b as uh, in the previous question for instance we had the universal set let me just do it on the previous question here okay so you had um that's my question on top suppose you you are asked to find a union b complement on this question that was here so first of all you will find a union b like we have done here okay so after you find a union b then now you compare which elements are not in a union b but are in the universal set so we see that in 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 a union b there is a two and there is a two there in a union b there is a four and there is a four there in a union b there is a five and there is a five there in a union b there is a there is a seven and there is a seven there in a union b there is a nine and there is a nine there in a union b there is a ten and there is a ten there so which elements are not in a union b we have a one so it would be one we have a three and we have a six and an eight so that is how you will find a union b complement same applies for a intersection b if you are asked to find a intersection b complement so first of all you find a intersection b which is what you've done here then a intersection b complement means outside a intersection b so a intersection b is this set here and compared to the universal set 
in A intersection B there is um, two and there is a two there. In A intersection B there is a four, there is a four there. In A intersection B there is a seven, there is a seven there. In intersection B there is a nine, and there is a nine there. So which elements are not in A intersection B? That is what A complement, A intersection B complement means. So the elements that are not in A intersection B are 1, 3, 5, 6, and 8, and 10. So that is how you will find A intersection B complement. So you can just rewind on that and watch it again. So I'll put one more question here, which is uh, question six, which you find A intersection B complement. Okay. So now as you are answering, I want you to think about your answers so that your answers are accurate. I'll be waiting for your solutions. Have a great afternoon.